Happy Monday, everybody. Resale Rabbit here. I hope you had a great weekend. I did. I went out and did a bunch of photo shoots. Um, I actually filmed it, and uh, we'll see. I'm, I don't know if I'm going to do uh, upload that video anytime soon. It just depends on when I have time for it. But right now, we're doing eBay sales. Now, I've got a lot of eBay sales, and I really have to rush this. So... That means it's gonna be one of those videos, I know some of you dislike it, but where I pull everything and then show it to you. 47 orders this weekend for a little over a grand. First things first, I sold the last of these, size large, the long, blue, and gray. I've got size large, regular, in black. It's odd that the, the picture shows gray, but they're black. And then I've got these ones also black, size large. Uh, I've got blue and gray regular, oh, that's size small. Black, size small. Looks like I've got one. Assuming this has, didn't sell today, I've got one left in the mediums. So for size large, all I've got left is this. Um, and then, right in the, oh, and that. So black, no blue and grays. So continuing down the list, I sold this. Wow! Uh, it's a moose, I think. Is it? Yeah, it's a moose. Wow, there's a moose in that can. Uh, then for 15 bucks, I sold this one. It does not work. We sold the working one, I think, for 40, 50, something like that. Uh, next... I sold a pack of Learn Italian playing cards right here to a viewer. My inventory says I only have two left, so I think someone bought a bunch of them, or maybe my inventory's off. I'll have to check. Uh, but this sold to Michael, who says, I'm a YouTube viewer, and you're doing a great job. Stay safe. Thanks, Michael. I appreciate it. Next, we sold this cologne for uh, $32.99. This came on the Walmart palettes. We sold these shorts for $14.99. Someone actually bought them and then wanted to cancel them, cancel the transaction, and it wouldn't let me relist it. So I had to do a sell similar and create a new listing. So it went right to the top. Next, we've got another pack of Learn Italian playing cards sold to Zebulon. Uh, Zeb, he goes by. He says, I watch your videos while I'm working as a public safety dispatcher. Your videos keep the long ships bearable. Can you, can, can you include a signed card? Thanks, Zeb. Absolutely, Zeb, I appreciate the sale. Next, we sold these two here. We've got a Paradise, oh, Paradise, Paradiso. I can't read that. Paradiso, and then Labradorite. Is that like a Labradoodle, but if they were a mineral? I've got a whole bunch of that one, actually. This is, what is it? Eyeshadow Duo, whatever that means. Uh, and then I also sold a Paradiso to another buyer. That one was actually a viewer who says, second thing, please ship together. So I don't know what the first thing is. I'm sure I'll come across it. Next, we sold here a pack of Learn Italian playing cards and four of the shark sets for, hold on, 60.45 to Lura, who actually bought from me the other day. Uh, it says, hello again, Mr. Hippity Hoppity. I just wanted to thank you for doing a shout out to my grandson, Blake. He loved it. Since you can't send out rabbit feet, is there any way you could send me an obscure item signed with those rabbit paws? Side note, you need to add more listings. Thanks again, thanks again for the great videos. Oh, and by the way, I too like Craigslist Hunter, but you are so much better. Be safe. Thanks, Laura. I appreciate it. I'll see if I can find something to sign for you around here. I'm going to run out of things to sign eventually. Uh, I'll end up sending signed cardboard boxes or something like that. But anyways, I appreciate the purchase, and I hope Blake likes them as well. Next, we sold one of these traps, uh, bug traps, for how much did we sell it for? $11.99. I've got four of those left. For $54.97, I sold three items from Dress Barn. So we've got a striped shirt. This is the last one I had in stock. Retail was $40. Then we've got this dress. I've got one more left in this size and then one in another size. It is a Dress Barn. Uh, retail $45. It says, uh, let's see, Dress Barn red, purple, burgundy, Abergeen, paisley shirt. 
So, wait, shirt. This, this isn't a shirt. Is this the right item? Hold on. 2217, or 2216317. That's odd. This is not a shirt. This is a skirt, right? Maybe I just write it wrong. Hold on. Skirt, yeah. I don't know how to read. It's one of the downsides of being self-employed. You're uneducated and can't read the difference between skirt and shirt. And they also bought this dress, of which I have a whole bunch in stock. It looks like in different sizes. It is loft navy blue dress with pink floral pattern. Um, so the three of those items combined sold for $54. 97 oh and by the way the dress has a retail holy crap 89.50 next i sold this battery pack for remote control car for 24.99 now we've got a viewer sale let's take a walk over here another one of these birthday shark sets sold and this sold to tyler who says hey resale rabbit saw this item and wanted to support you I'm originally from the Chicago area, but didn't didn't discover your channel until I moved across the country to Arizona. Wanted to send these to a friend's son back in my hometown. P.S. You'll be pleased to know that despite my all despite all of my family being Bears fans, I despise them. Go Colts! Thanks, Tyler. I appreciate the sale. I was briefly a Colts fan when I lived in Indianapolis. So when I lived in different cities, I decided I was going to be a fan of the home team as long as I didn't live in Chicago, Boston, Denver, Detroit. Minnesota, Atlanta, you get the point. I decided to be a fan of the home team while I was living there. I couldn't care less about the Colts now because I no longer live there. But anyways, I lived in Indianapolis, was a Colts fan, and I saw two games at Lucas Oil Stadium. Number one was against the Broncos when Peyton Manning had his return to Indianapolis and lost. That was fun. And then the second one I saw was against the Seahawks, who also lost. The Colts beat both of those teams and coincidentally, that year, those teams that were both defeated by the Colts played in the Super Bowl together. Just a little fun fact. But Lucas Oil Stadium is one of my favorite stadiums to visit. Next, we've got, uh, let's see, five items from a viewer, Jenny. So, first item is going to be over here. By the way, I decided I'm going to pull orders on video from viewers. Uh, and then just non-viewers, I'll just grab all together. I, I thought it was further back because this used to be on the shelf you know what I thought I pulled this now that I think about it let's take a walk over here I thought I pulled this but I, I probably did I just didn't delete it let me get the size uh, it doesn't say Grayson threads woman's short sleeve graphic t-shirt oh size large all right so let's take a walk. Walk with me, why don't you? Maybe I didn't pull it. Maybe I didn't. It was with these, I thought. Huh. All right. So I found it. This is weird. Let me show you where I found it. Just coincidentally, I could not find it anywhere. And I saw just a black shirt. Oh, maybe this will be it. Probably not. And it was. And I've got a whole bunch of them in here. I, this, this has a location ID. I did this one. So I don't know what the deal is there. But anyways, I'm pretty sure that came from Target with their, when I got all the Christmas sweaters from them. I think. I'm not certain. Now she also bought a couple other things. Remember, it was five items. Uh, let's see, we should have a pair of gloves. Right, right here. Not gloves, socks. They look like gloves in the picture. I suppose I should start reading things. Denver Broncos, speak of the devil. Uh, Denver Broncos socks. Uh, let's see, no, it says gloves. Yeah, they are gloves. Oh, I thought that was a picture of her wearing the slippers. Oh, man, this is not my day. All right, Denver Broncos gloves. We've got these. It's going to be these. A pair of the feel-good sandals. 
And lastly, she got this dress. It is a dress barn retail of 70. And she spent 75 48 for all of it. Um, let's see, where is it? Dress barn, red, orange, sassy dress with underskirt, multiple sizes. And we've got a whole bunch of these in various sizes. Anyways, the comment she left is, hi Rabbit, thanks so much for accepting my offers. I couldn't make offers on everything due to multi-listing, but thank you for what you did accept. I am a longtime viewer on YouTube and really happy I can finally buy some things from you for me and my husband. If you are able to include a signed anything, card or whatever, I would appreciate it. I hope you and Mrs. Rabbit stay safe and dry. No more flooding, hopefully. Thanks again, Jenny. Jenny, and she's from England, it says. Jenny, I appreciate the sale. I hope you and your husband like all these goodies and we'll get them sent over the pond for you. Oh, I think I pulled this and forgot to show you guys. She bought this too. Uh, $36.99 was the clearance price Westport sweater. And it's not ripped. It's actually made to look like that. Took me a couple double takes to realize that. Next, we've got another viewer sale here. Hope, uh, who's actually bought from me before. We start with one D1. That's going to be one of these. This is, what is this? RMS Beauty Mixer Highlighter Luminizer Pink Brand. And I've got nine available. And then one F1. Uh, number zero two brown. Let's just lift this up here. That is going to be what brand is that? I don't know, help because my black and white photo isn't doing much for me. Clio three and a half millimeter slim touch. So let's look for the brand Clio, maybe it's slim tech. Yeah, Clio Slim Tech. I really should learn how to read. Uh, zero two, right there. So Hope bought these two items. And she says, thanks for the videos. Hope, I appreciate another sale from you. Um, while we're in here, I've got a couple other sales. One C2 Ignite, which is... Right there, no, that's Entice. We have to ignite it. We don't want to entice it. There we go. This sold for $9.98 to ASY, A-S-Y, A-C. I'm sorry if I'm mispronouncing that. Uh, she says, hi, Rabbit. I'm a new viewer, and I love watching your YouTube videos. Would you please in include a signed card? I would appreciate it. Absolutely happy to do that. And then lastly, in 1F1... We've got Butter London Glazing Lip Gloss. I'm literally just in this. Let's see. Butter London, all uh, right here, Glazing Lip Gloss. And we are looking for, let's see, Magic Dust right here. And this was actually not a viewer sale. Uh, it sold for nine bucks. So a couple more sales. We got these My Pet Monster pins, 17. I have 12 remaining. Uh, then we've got this. It's an acne treatment thing. This actually came out of Riley Rose with all the makeup. Sold for 60. Uh, looks like retail was 149. I paid 5% of that and it is sealed. This wraps around it. You can see that is not cut. Although it was probably wrapped in plastic at one point. Um, it wasn't when we got it. And then these red Rosin Alley pants, uh, 40 bucks retail. I've got a ton of these in various sizes. It looks like this is the last size six. They are listed as Rosin Alley red classic fit ankle cut size six or whatever size, no pockets. And those sold for 20 bucks. Next, we sold this Soggy lipstick. Sogno is the brand, is the color. These struggle so much to focus on that. We sold a Star Wars snowman. Oh, and this sold for, hold on, $11.99. I've got nine remaining. We sold a Star Wars snowman Christmas stocking. I paid 50 cents for it. It sold for $6.99. Someone mentioned in a comment that that snowman is called BB-8. I don't know, unless that's like the B, the B, and the 8 are all in the shape of snowmen. Maybe it has something to do with that. I don't know. People 
are going to get so angry at these jokes. Uh, next, we've got a viewer sale. Three items, starting with this. This is different than the Rosin Alley pants. This is the last one that I had in this one. Westport. They came out of Dress Barn. Retail was... There it is. Retail was 45 Marked down to 40 uh, We're also looking for two more items. A size 18W in the Hawaiian pants. And a pack of Learn Italian playing cards. See what I mean? I really doubt there's only two left unless someone bought a whole bunch of them. So anyways, these three items... They sold to Nicole. She says, hi, Rabbit. I hope you're doing okay. This is the second pair of flower pants I've purchased. Can I get a signed card? Thanks. P.S. I really like your hat. I appreciate the purchase, Nicole. I don't know what hat you're referring to. I don't wear hats, but Roger over here, he's got one that he likes. Next, we've got a purchase from Tim. And I'm just going to grab two of these because Tim bought one, and then there's one that isn't a viewer who bought one or at least didn't make note of being a viewer. So I will just set these here. Uh, the one from Tim, well, they both sold for $12.99. The one from Tim, he says, Hi, Rabbit, awesome vids, keep it up. I miss your dollar sales. I'd say to save on shipping, just toss it out at the Denmark exit on your way to Manitowoc sometime, but that probably wouldn't work. Uh, you can just say where I live if you read this. Thanks, Tim. I I'm guessing he lives in Denmark. Uh, Tim, I appreciate the sale. Um, this is not, by the way, someone named Tim bought something the other day and someone asked if it was the Tim that works here. It wasn't, and neither is this. Uh, but Tim, I appreciate the purchase and hope you enjoy it. Never mind, we're not done here. Vicky bought one. That pile is getting really low. Spoil, spoiler alert, I'm actually sold out of those. Uh, they all sold over the weekend, the last of them. Uh, these went to Vicky. She says, hey, Rabbit, remember me? I bought a couple of M&D palettes and reading glasses a couple of weeks ago. Yes, I do remember you. I was actually, I saw the name. I was like, why does that name sound familiar? That's why. Uh, she goes on and says, love the palettes and the glasses are selling well. This outfit is for my grandson whose birthday is at the end of May and has learned how to tell Alexa to play Baby Shark. So if you, I can't read. So you know what we have to listen to constantly when he's all about our house. Thanks for the videos, the tips, and the tricks. The copy address button on Pirate Ship. Who knew? Keep up the good work and stay safe. Well, I appreciate it, Vicky, and I'm glad you like the Melissa and Doug palettes and the reading glasses. For those of you who don't remember, when I bought out, a, I, I shouldn't say bought out, when I bought a bunch of stuff from Dollar General when they closed, I ended up getting... I think it was 268 pairs of reading glasses for 10 cents each and sold them to Vicky. I didn't even have to put them for sale. She offered me a buck a piece and I was like, you know, it'd be worth it to not have to deal with trying to sell them. And she was actually picking up the pallets so I didn't have to try to ship them. Anyways, next sale is also a viewer, Deanna. The same Deanna that we've been hearing about a lot in these videos. Deanna bought this Ava James shirt uh, for $18.99. It looks like I've got one remaining. It was 45 bucks at Dress Barn. Now in here, we're looking for one C2. It's Jeff Bezos Shimmer. There we go. We've got one remaining. That sold, the Jeff Bezos Shimmer sold for $14.99. In one C1, we're looking for Lido. right here this is not a big one it's a lighter one uh let's see sold for 14.99 i've got two remaining in one b1 molten midnight right here i love how i can just grab those without looking i've got three left in one b4 one b4 we've got kitten oh man i should have taken my claritin and uh, that's it in here. Never mind, there's a whole bunch on the next page. So in 1G1, OCC Compulsives Lip Tar Black Dahlia. 1G1. I don't really remember 
what it was. I just remember the black dahlia part. So I'm kind of looking at it. Here we go. Obsessive compulsives. Black dahlia. All right. That is the one. So this sold for eight bucks. Next, we've got a Boheme right here. One of a few left. The listing says we've got six left. It looks like there are more than six. And now that is it in here. Now in here, last one of these sold $12.99. So that was nice. Last one of these sold 15 bucks. So that is officially it for this palette. And then we sold three of these to three different buyers. And I believe all three were viewers. So we've got three different viewers. One says, please include a signed card if you could. Thanks, Rabbit. That was purchased by Jimmy. Jimmy, I appreciate the sale. Daniel bought one. He says, love your videos, Rabbit. Would appreciate a signed card. Thanks, Daniel. I appreciate that. And Chris bought one. This is, hey, Rabbit, love your content lately. Grabbing these cards for my 10-year-old son. Maybe he'll learn some Italian phrases. Take care. Uh, Chris, that might be a bad idea, although I do appreciate the sale. Here's what's going to happen. When your 10-year-old becomes a teenager, he will be fluent in Italian, which sounds like a good thing. But that just means he can talk about you behind your back right in front of you. So you better learn Italian, too, just to circumvent that. Next, we sold this Maiden Form Bra for $11.99. Cost 50 cents on the Target palettes. I sold for eight bucks the last of the Magic Dust Lip Glaze. I sold this Netgear remote for $9.99 and it's got a full keyboard on the back. That probably came out of a storage unit. I don't remember that one. I sold this wallet. Remember this got returned the other day. Uh, I actually sold for more, $69.99. So that's enough to cover all of the return costs. That uh, worked out well. Now we've got a viewer sale here. This Westport red, orange, and paisley summer pants with pockets. Original price of $39.95. I've got another one in 1X and one in XL, which I always thought were the same thing, but I guess I'm wrong. Uh, but anyways, that sold, and they also bought, let's take a walk over here, a deck of Learn Italian playing cards. And this was, these two items were purchased by uh, Lydia. She says, I had to get the Italian cards. Must to see if soggy is the word. Please sign the card box. You can take off the shrink wrap. Keep up the dad jokes, Lydia. Thanks, Lydia. I appreciate it. If you remember, in a previous video, I sold... I sold one today, so I think it's in here somewhere. I don't know. This one? There we go. Sogno, which I said is Italian for soggy. And if you don't believe me, buy the Learn Italian Playing Cards. So now that someone called me out on it, I really hope it's in there. Anyways, uh, I appreciate it, Lydia. I hope you enjoy them. Next, we've got, uh, let's see, Susan bought something. We'll take a walk back here. She bought these four hairsprays. A lot of four of these got to be hairsprays. They gotta be hairsprays. It's mesmerizing. You know, these jokes, they're my jokes. Come on, this company shouldn't be using my jokes. That's a trademark joke. And Susan says, I'm a viewer and look forward to each new posting. Our Texas temp this weekend is accepted, expected to be in the triple digits. You are just getting to the high 50s. Stay safe and we'll love a signed card if possible. Thanks, Susan. I appreciate it. And triple digits, well, that might be a little much for me. But we were in the mid 70s this weekend. And it was absolutely amazing. Today it's mid 40s and it's freezing. My body isn't used to that. Lastly, we've got one more viewer sale. I already pulled it because it was buried in the dress bar and stuff. It is this bag here, sold to Rebecca. She says, hello, Rabbit. I'm a viewer from Switzerland. Love your videos, especially the longer ones. I got a second item, too, so I'll have to find that. I think I remember a Rebecca having an item early in here, too. She says, I got a second item. I lost my spot. It would be great if you could ship them together and add a signed card. Thank you, Rebecca. Rebecca, I appreciate the sale. Now, this is the only one in this size that I have. It's all sealed up, but I took one out in a different size to show you. You've seen this in several other videos. It's this Paisley romper. It's got pant legs as rompers do. 
and it is listed as super cute Westport blue and pink paisley jumper romper. And we've got a whole bunch of these in different sizes. This one is an 18W. Hers is over there. This is just the one that I, what in the world is that? Oh, it's a little tiny snap. Holy crap, I've never seen them get that small before. So anyways, this came out of Dress Barn, and the price was $64.95, marked down to $57.99. And that is today's sales. Boy, that was a mouthful. So I'm going to get these shipped out, and while I do that, I'm going to watch Craigslist Hunter and Garage Shed Flips new videos, and uh, I will let you know what we have after this. So a couple of things, uh, the item Rebecca bought, she bought two items and she asked, uh, they were separate transactions, she asked them to ship together. Unfortunately, because they're global shipping, I can't, so that's why you're gonna get two packages, because when you buy something with the global shipping program, it assigns a specific number, so it's essentially like a different shipping address. Now, Lura, who bought those four um, baby shark things, birthday shark things, uh, and the playing cards asked me to sign something random, so I figured to commemorate this time of a global pandemic, you get a signed glove. This was difficult to try and flatten it to sign it, but uh, that, that's what you get. So once again, appreciate the purchase, and uh, we'll send your glove out with the other stuff. I used this glove when I was cleaning the toilets. So, no, I'm kidding. It's a brand new, fresh glove. It has not been used. So I'm shipping stuff out watching a Craigslist Hunter video and a viewer said in, I don't remember if it was a comment when he bought something or if it was a comment on a video, but it's Delicious Panda. He's been mentioned in a few videos. He said that he was gonna go to Craigslist Hunter's store and uh, see if he'd get on a video. And he was on the video and they had a conversation about me. Hey Pete, do you watch Riesel Rabbit? I'm like, of course I watch Riesel Rabbit. Up, up north there in Green Bay, you know? So, actually, it's funny. Me and Riesel Rabbit were gonna do a collab video a long time ago when I had my other store in, uh, in Chicago on Harlem Avenue. And every time he would go by there as he traveling throughout America buying things for resale on, on Amazon, we would miss each other like two or three times. We never did it. It was so funny though, so. Pretty cool. He's a pretty cool guy. He, he buys all kinds of crazy stuff, you know, just like me, but a little bit different operation. Yeah, yeah, I know him. So, so if you want to see that, it's uh, Craigslist Hunter's second day open. I think that's how it is. Second day of being open. This is how it's going to be uh, when he reopened his store uh, as some of the stay-at-home orders in Illinois were lifted. Anyways, that is a true story. I don't remember if I filmed any of me doing this, but so Craigslist Hunter opened his second store uh, in Chicago. And I happened to be past, I wasn't living in Green Bay at the time. I might've been living in Nashville, or maybe it was even before that. I don't remember. But anyways, uh, I happened to be passing through Chicago and I was actually not too far from his new store. It was on like Harlem Avenue or something like that. The only reason I remember that is because he stopped by it in a recent video. Um, so what I did is I've got these resale rabbit cards, the ones that you guys, the viewers get when they buy something. And I taped it to his door and cause his store was closed. I think it was like in the middle of the night or something when I happened to be passing through. So I taped it to his door with a note saying, Hey, want to do a collaboration video? Here's my phone number. So we texted back and forth and you know, I was, I knew I was gonna be passing through like a week later or so. And unfortunately he was busy that week. I think we set up a time and then one of us had to cancel because we got busy or something. Um, might've been me, maybe I, my plans changed and I went and drove in a different direction or something. I don't remember. But then every time I happened to be near Chicago, I would text them and we'd message back and forth. And it just, like he said, never worked out. I, when I was there, he was gone. When he was there, I was gone. But I did actually stop at his store once like his main store, the one that he still has now, and wandered through it and looked through it. Funny enough, he was gone that day too. I think this was either significantly before or significantly after this. But yeah, we were gonna do a collaboration video. I don't even remember if it, there was a specific idea or if it was just a collaboration in general, but. So Craigslist Hunter, if you do watch my videos, um, he, you, he mentioned that, that picture from Fort Grant that he had, 
he was going to try and take a trip to Fort Grant, if it still exists, and see if he can get some info on it. I'm in. Let me know. We can head down there together because I've got a similar picture, which I've showed, and I actually sent a, a scan, copy of the scan to him. But it'd be fun to go down there and make a collaboration video doing that. But anyways, that, that's all I have to say about that. I feel like Forrest Gump. I, I keep drabbling on like I'm going to continue with the thought, and there's nothing left. That is the end of the thought. So I missed a couple of things. First, I missed, completely missed, a sweater that sold. It's just a regular sweater, so I just grabbed it and shipped it out. It wasn't to a viewer. It wasn't anything special. Um, rather than filming it, I just shipped it. Uh, next, Deanna, who is a viewer who bought something in here somehow. I missed her comment. I just saw the name. And, oh, that's a viewer. I don't need to read the comment, apparently. She said, if the mannequin had his name Roger, then what's the panther's name? Every mascot needs a name. Well... You guys named him Roger. So I think I'm gonna name the panther. Here's the plan. We're gonna paint this panther white and brown, and we're gonna name it Honey. That way, next time I'm in Chicago, I can leave it at Craigslist Hunter's place and steal his cat. That works, right? Let's go with that. Next, I'm pretty sure, but not certain, that I missed the comment on the bra. The bra was purchased by someone named Patricia who says, hi, Mr. Rabbit, keep the YouTube videos going. You've made this quarantine less boring. Say hi to Mrs. Rabbit. So Patricia, if I did miss that, I appreciate your purchase and um, we'll get that shipped out to you. And if I didn't miss that, well, then you're just hearing it again. But we are all shipped out. This is everything that I shipped through the eBay bulk shipping tool. The pirate ship stuff is already done. Let's get this labeled. Here's what I do. So I've got zip codes on the boxes. So I basically go in order and circle around the table, and then I come over there for overflow. And they're, they're printing, back up so you can see, they're printing in order. So I literally go and just one, 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 you know, right in order. Nice, quick, and easy. I'll have a couple of these laid out on the floor so I can toss them right in. It goes very quickly. And then I've got zip codes written on them so I know what's what. And we are all labeled. So let's see what went through while I was doing that. So a lot of people ask why I tape the labels. I only do this when it's on boxes. I do uh, two layers of tape or a layer of tape on each side. This is why after minutes, it's already peeling off after me sticking it on well. This one here is starting to do the same thing. I don't want the labels to come off in shipping. I don't know if the boxes are just really dusty or why it does it. It only does it on cardboard boxes. The poly mailers, even the craft mailers are fine. So I always do that on boxes just to be safe. So we got three more sales for 46. Starting over here, two pairs of shoes. Uh, let's see, we're looking for eight and a halves. That's a seven and a half. This is eight and a half. So they bought these. There we go. These for uh, size eight and a half. And then we've also got black ones. So two pairs of shoes, I paid 50 cents each, so a buck for both, and they came on the Target palettes. Two items in here. We'll start with one C3 teal, and then two C3 medium, and these are two separate orders for, I want to say 10 bucks each, 10 and 15, something like that. And that's it. Now, I've got one more thing to do. I checked... Uh, you know, I went through all of the sa the sales. I also checked items that sold but were not yet paid for. There are no more of the Learn Italian playing cards that are sold. And I've got a lot more than two in here. So let's get a count on them. There are 12 total in here. So I'm going to readjust that. I really don't know why we were off by so much. I hope someone didn't buy 10 and I mistook it as one. I don't think that's the case. But I don't know. So anyways... 12 of those left. So that is all I've got for you today. Um, appreciate you watching and to the viewers who bought something. I certainly appreciate that. And we'll see you tomorrow.